Yes, everybody, Ross and the Western Network. Hope you're safe and wherever you end here, you know what to do, my friends. Don't forget to like, comment, share, just in case you didn't know. Or subscribe. Thank you very, very much. As I said, if you are uh, new in here, also don't forget to check out LeeZoneBrown.com for the latest news, reviews, and opinions. It's Hammer's Headlines in the station with them. Um, at lunchtime today, or just after lunchtime, we did the Julian Lopetegui press conference. Go and look, go over there and see the for sure counter. What was he at? Was he in double figures? You'll find out. Um, this morning we spoke about a potential uh, Julian Lopetegui shortlist with three maybe slightly off the radar options. Apparently we're doing background checks on, according to Jacob Steinberg. Holly did a reaction to the David Moyes interview on the overlaps. All, all go. But let's talk about Hammers headlines. Three stories, uh, one transfer related, or two transfer late related, and one um, team related, we'll say. And for those moaning, I've reduced the sound on that little sting. There we go, because people were complaining it was too loud. So um, now, apparently, West Ham, according to um, uh, the Turkish media outlet, Takvim, uh, or Takvim, uh, are looking at Galatasaray defender Victor Nelson uh, for a potential, even maybe a January transfer move. Um, and he uh, could be made available. He's played in five of Galatasaray's 10 league matches so far this season. And apparently he's not happy with the situation. Turning down the offer to extend his contract that expires in the summer of 2026. So come January, he'll be entering the last 18 months. Ding, 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 ding. That ticks a box in the West Ham recruitment um, checklist. Um, he is uh, considering options and the possibility of leaving Galatasaray in January or failing that in the summer. He has also interest apparently from Bologna and Sevilla, but he, he suggested that the Danish international centre-back would prefer a move to the Premier League. And obviously one of the players, we, were, one of the managers we were linked with was the former Day Denmark um, international manager, uh, Kesper Hlungberg, or Hlungen, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so that will be interesting. Maybe that Galatasaray might try to still convince Nelson to stay um, put, but that's unclear. But um, yeah, considering they were obviously keen to extend his contract and he rejected the extension contract, it does seem like he's uh, looking elsewhere. But uh, could he end up at London Stadium? We shall wait and see. Or maybe Brentford, more likely, isn't it? They, they take all them. All them, don't they? All those Danish people. <laughs> And sticking with internationals, obviously, after the game against um, Everton on Saturday, we enter the international break, which is the last one until March, I think, um, with obviously a number of players potentially going out on international duty. One of them may be or may not be Alphonse Ariola, because according to reports, he could well be replaced by Lucas uh, Chevalier in the French squad following the loss of his first team place to Lucas Fabianski. Um it's fair that he's probably struggled to impress between the sticks this season for the Hammers, particularly when you look at the head coach who is by, you know, by design, he was a goalkeeper. So he would have probably the best, um, uh, what's the word, the, the, the best idea of what he wants in his goalkeeper. Um, you know, uh, and the last two games, Fabianski's come in and I wouldn't say hasn't put a foot wrong, but there's, there's, it, I'd say he's probably performed better in some respects, but not in the others. In the same way that, you know, both of them, I think Arioli is a better shot stopper, but I think um, his distribution has been very poor this year. Uh, where Fabianski seems to me always to com command his box a bit better, despite the fact Ariola being more physically impressive. But um, it could be likely that Fabianski could be between the sticks maybe at the weekend as well. Um, and further exclusion from that team, first team, may persuade the French international boss Didier Deschamps to consider dropping Ariola from the squad in favour of um, in favour of Lucas, and not Lucas Fabianski, but Lucas uh, Chevalier. So poor old Ariola, he's getting he's getting done by Lucas's wherever he goes. Um, who's he's played really well for Lille this season, and obviously he's playing for Lille rather than necessarily being on the bench. So I'd be surprised if um, Ariola has a doesn't go uh, with the French international squad in this international break and can just improve and stay at West Ham over the international break, which would be nice. 
And lastly, let's talk about Vladimir Sufal. Um, as we know, coming the end of this season, five first team players are out of contract. Lucas Fabianski, um, Karen Cresswell, Vladimir Sufal, and the two strikers, Antonio and Danny Ings. And obviously, you know, Fabianski's now getting a bit of first team football, so we'll see what happens there. But uh, apparently, the club are in no hurry to let Vladimir Sufal leave in January, but their club is unlikely to extend its st- his stay at the London Stadium beyond this summer. Obviously, at the end of the last summer, he was given as contractually obliged we we could offer a one-year extension to his contract um which he wasn't really happy about considering thomas suchek had got a multi-year deal jared bowen had just got a seven-year deal so i can understand that in terms of frustrations but that was what the contract said uh, but according to claret and hugh uh speaking to a top source of the club um they reported that the czech republic um defender could be a target for german and internet and turkish clubs in january um obviously with aaron wambasaka coming in Basically, the upgrade to Vladimir now. No disrespect to him, but time, you know, time, it, it gets to a point very similar to when we had uh, Zabaleta, wasn't it? It was very good, very good. And then he just dropped very, very quickly when he hit a certain age. And I think that's what's happening with Vladimir. You know, great servant for the club. Um, did a great job when he was, when Agent Suchek recommended him. Um, but clearly, Aaron Wambasaka is a, a superior player in it, for my eyes, in terms of that position. Um, but, um, the top insider said to Clarence Hugh, um, he, he can't leave until the 30th of um, June, but he could sign a pre-contract elsewhere. But in the same breath, they were saying that he has interest from German and Turkish sides. So I think if the right offer comes in, then they will let him go. We know actually Galatasaray were interested in Vladimir. Um, obviously, we had the whole jiggery pokery in terms of uh, Mazawa and Wambasaka, and they only had £8 million to spend, and obviously they couldn't really get either for them. Um, they could come back in for Vladimir potentially, uh, but we'll wait and see. <laughs> And that is it, my friends. Thank you very much. As per usual, tomorrow we'll be doing all the getting all this ready for the Everton game, which is going to be a crunch game, not just on the pitch, but in the dugout for both for both coaches and slash managers as well. Really, Sean Dykes is, you know, again having, uh, and it always happens at Everton. It's always at Everton West Ham. There's always that. You know, I remember two years ago when it was Moyes and Lampard and the loser won Sean Dyche. Um, and it could be a similar situation coming up um, in on Saturday, potentially. But um, we'll have all the fun of the fair and obviously all the lead up to the game match day morning outside of London Stadium on the Saturday. But it's 11 shows, the watch alongs. And then obviously afterwards, we will have the sort of the, the highlights review live from London Stadium. So make sure you check us out from there. Until next time, take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble, keep the faith and come on your bloody irons. Much love. Bye-bye.